everyone. Uh, firstly, thank you for being here and just continuing on this conversation that we ended. I'm actually one of those people who in 2022 decided to come back to India and work on foundational technologies for healthcare. And that's actually where I found people plus here. So before we jump into the compute story, I want to spend a couple of minutes talking about what People Plus AI does and who's the team behind it. So uh, People Plus AI is a not-for-profit. We're housed under this larger foundation called the Ekstep Foundation, which is backed by Nandan and Rohini Nilikani. This is the team that architected, created, and co-built uh, the India DPI stack of Aadhaar, UPI, and the story goes on. Tanuj, who's here, will be speaking uh, about how we are imagining an Adbhut India for India, a little pun on AI. Uh, and what we are really trying to do at People Plus AI, and again, Open Cloud Compute is one part of it, is uh, not just have a future that's designed by default. Uh, so typically, when you have humanity that's shaped by technology or that follows technology, it only benefits a few of the actors in the ecosystem. And that looks something like this. You have a new Thai food restaurant that's coming up, which is literally called Thai food near me because it wants to be optimized for SEO. You have a long line of people who's standing to get that photo clicked to put on social media, but in the end, they're standing in a very long queue. What we are hoping to do is design a future that's shaped by humanity, where actually people are put first, and then technology and AI is thought for the people for their actual problem statements and use cases. So what we really do at People Plus AI is four things. The first thing is we discover, uh, demonstrate, and distribute population scale use cases across domains like healthcare, education, agriculture, climate, and we work with a lot of partner organizations to do this, to actually distill what are those real problems that need to be solved for. We then also look at infrastructure, foundational basis that will have to be set for some of these use cases and AI solutions to actually scale. If we are to have a billion AI transactions in India in five to 10 years, how will that happen? And our flagship project there is Open Cloud Compute, which I'll be talking about. The third thing we do is grow the community and spaces where like-minded individuals can share thoughts, ideas. So we are based out of Bangalore. If you're in Bangalore, stop by for one of our meetups. Uh, we talk and discuss about everything and anything. And the fourth thing is we, we cheerlead. And we actually have brought on one of our OCC providers today. The idea is that there is a lot of good work happening in India. We need to bring that to the forefront and show the world that we are capable and already doing the good work. So this brings me sort of to the next story, which is OCC. Today in India, there are three fundamental utilities. Bijli, Pani, Sadak. But there is this fourth utility that you don't even realize sometimes that is powering your organizations. It's actually the engine that's helping the rising digital India truly rise. What is that? It's server. So today, our need is not just for Bijni Pani Sadak, it's Bijli Pani Sadak or server. Compute today has become pervasive and essential. What we truly need is ready access to diverse forms of compute so that the very diverse set of consumers who are using it today, be it startups, be it developers, be it MSMEs, get ready access to it. Uh, and what we realized today is that while we just covered the many use cases that will be coming out of India which require this compute, on the supply side as well, compute is really evolving. The shape and size in which compute is available today is actually very diverse. Compute is not just not one kind of chip or one kind of form factor or one data center building. It's a plethora of products and services. Compute today is actually a pallet, and it's become very sophisticated to handle things closer to the user of it. Today we do have edge solutions and providers who are making solutions that can actually manage very sophisticated AI and non-AI workloads close to you. So in AI specifically, we are going to be building and using a lot more compute. Apart from the sophisticated models and the data sets that we spoke about, all AI really just boils down to compute plus plus. It just requires a lot of machines to do a lot of math and to do it fast. And what AI has done, it's actually shown us that it's just not one type of chip that will work. 
with GPU sort of being the new thing, we'll see that in the next six to seven years, the market sizes are really shifting. And we are sitting almost at this inflection point where as the market from a demand point of view evolve, there's also an opportunity to architect an ecosystem where you're not just supplying one type of computer, one type of chip in one form factor, because there's so much demand, there's so many diverse applications, geographic diversity, usage diversity, workload diversity, time sensitivity diversity, you can actually supply a lot more compute in a lot more shapes and sizes. These are India numbers. Globally, we have the most number of engineers, most number of MSMEs, and the most amount of data being consumed per capita. But for data center infrastructure, the story looks a little different. It is going to change a lot, but we're also standing at a time point where as this story changes from 14 to 7 to 5 to greater numbers, we have an opportunity to architect the way in which this infrastructure is consumed. And that's really the story of OCC. OCC believes that while the mega data center players are good, are providing a great palette of products and services, there's also opportunity for micro and smaller players to come out and contribute to this supply matrix. And that's very important today because as you see on some of the basic metrics, we are lagging when it comes to other leading economies and this story is going to change. But the fact that we have to realize is that as we grow our capacity, they're also growing this capacity. And they're growing this capacity because they know that AI is coming and they want to adopt it more. India, in the same time, has to approach this widening gap very thoughtfully, but also quickly. Our infrastructure might be insufficient today for our ambitions. But what OCC is trying to do is build a grid that could connects all the diverse compute and bring it to one place. Now, when we say connect diverse compute, it means enable not one provider or one cloud service provider. It means enable many cloud service providers who exist today. Today, India has a long, long tail of 50 or so entities who do have data center offerings, who do have cloud service offerings, who could be supplying to not just national startups and large enterprises, but also international customers. Today, we have proof points where such business models do exist and are actually serving some of these customers really well. So OCC is a grid, an open network that's powered by protocols and standards, which will be basically a website where many diverse users of compute, be it students, developers, tech startups, MSMEs, large enterprises, can go online, log on to this interface, find the diverse formats of compute, be it uh, Sachang's uh, edge solution, be it a Vigyan lab sitting in Mysuru, be it some of our other partners like Neve Cloud, Oracle, who have onboarded to this consortium of partners, but basically find the right type of provider based on your needs, based on what your business and geographic needs are. Now, the idea behind this is also, it comes from our discussions just before this, right? Our needs are such that one size does not and should not fit all in India. Today, we, as consumers of compute, should have the power to actually mix and match, based on our business needs, the kind of compute that we need. And uh, typically, we see that tech startups, when they start to scale, that's when it clicks, and that's when they start looking for cheaper, more affordable forms of compute. Our entire thesis is, why don't we make a more informed decision sooner? Why don't we give all the information that needs to be with customers sooner by actually transparently saying this is the kind of compute that's available and this is how you get it. Compute is truly a palette and you as a consumer, and believe me, all of you are consumers of compute today. Uh, you might not realize it, but you are using applications on your phone all the way to building applications like Zorava today. You are the artist and really you should have that power to mix and match the different paints or the different compute types and forms to, for the best results, for optimizing your bottom line, for scaling the way you want and not at the behest of a larger provider who might uh, have very tough terms and conditions. This grid is also not just incrementally, uh, activating incremental growth, but so apart from access and choice, right, which it really gives you, it's also enabling novel opportunities. 
the concept of renters becoming prosumers. People who today rent capacity, but today if it becomes easy to invest and build your own data center capacity or edge solution, there's nothing stopping you from actually going out there and putting up your own capacity and becoming a producer and a supplier of compute to the many, many MSMEs that are coming online today. And of course, community. I think this is a large part, uh, and be it talent, be it other things. There is a need, as people who are not very familiar with how different compute solutions should get architected, to actually help each other. With OCC, what you do is you form a grid, but you also uh, uh, form this community learning forum where people can ask each other questions and ask what is the best forms of compute that's working for you? Why did you choose something? That is currently not available to people today. Uh, we have signed on 24 technology partners onto this consortium who in different forms, either producers or consumers of compute, have shown interest uh, in co-developing and really tinkering with this grid such that it helps us achieve that end state of Adbhut India. In the first of many market meetings, uh, uh, we held one on May 7th and there was great intent uh, and passion shown for bringing something like this on quickly. Up ahead, we have Shashank, uh, an OCC provider, also builder of a very cool piece of tech he's going to show you, who has built this company called One Human AI, a cloud-in-a-box solution that you can today put in your workplace, put in your home, lets you run AI and do other cool things. Thank you. Thank you.